In this video, I'm going to show you how easy Sage 50 makes it to identify your most profitable customers. The exact steps that you take will vary slightly depending on which version of Sage 50 you're using, whether it's Pro, Premium, or Quantum. But I'm going to show you all three methods, and uh, we're going to start in Sage 50 Premium. So here you would go to the Business Status tab on the left, and then you go to Customize, and we'll turn on the option for Top Customers Last 12 Months. So we'll check the box, and you could use the Move Up button to reposition in the list if you want to. We'll click OK. Now that that's been added, we'll scroll down to the bottom, and here you'll always have a current list of your top customers based on the last 12 months' worth of sales. Now you can see here it's, uh, it's also basing it on gross profit, so as long as you're using inventory, it can calculate gross profit for you. If you're not using the inventory, then it won't know how to link the cost of sales to the individual um, sales, so this would really be gross revenue even though it says gross profit there. Now if you're in Sage 50 Quantum, it's just a little bit different. So we'll bring in Quantum here. And on Quantum, instead of business status, so business status, you now have my dashboard. So the dashboard is just kind of an expanded version of the business status page. So you could, you could actually create multiple tabs and you have more things you can choose from. So I'm gonna click Customize and we're just gonna add top customers last 12 months. Um, but obviously you can see you've got a lot more choices of what can go on your dashboard. I'm gonna click okay. And there we have that same exact list as we had um, you know, in the, in the uh, premium version. So if you wanna know where a specific customer ranks, instead of just seeing who your top customers are, then this works in both premium and quantum. You can go to the customer and sales tab. And then here you'll go to customer management. Then you click customize again and make sure you've added top customers last 12 months to this list. Click okay to return to that screen. And now um, you just have to pick, you just pick a customer from this list and it'll show up here. And here you see I picked a customer that was not in the top 10, so it shows the top 10 customers as well as the customer that I picked and gives me their rank. Now, if you're using Sage 50 Pro, um, you don't have uh, any of those options, but you do have a very good report um, which is available in all three, and there are some reasons to use it because it gives a little more information so even if you do have access to the top customers feature. So we're going to go to the reports and forms menu and accounts receivable. And then we're going to go to the customer sales history report. So here you can see it gives us a report that lists all of our customers with the amount of sales, cost of sales, gross profit, and gross margin. And now it's not sorted you know, by gross profit, like, like the other screen is, um, but you can easily send that to Excel. And once we've got it in Excel, we can sort it however we want. So there's our, our spreadsheet in Excel, or our report in Excel. And so we could go to our data tab, sort, and we can sort by gross profit or gross margin or whatever we want there. Oops, except we would want to sort it largest to smallest, most likely. So there you've got the same information, except including all your customers and breaking out total sales, cost of sales, and gross profit, and gross margin for you. So there it is, a great feature that a lot of people overlook, making it really easy to identify your most profitable customers. Hope you find that useful.